Hello and welcome. This is Chandni Nevdani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. 46,000 families affected by heavy rains in Madhya Pradesh. Over 46,000 people from Mansur and Neemaj districts were shifted to safer places by late Sunday night as heavy rain continued to lash the western region of Madhya Pradesh, a government spokesperson said. The two neighboring districts in western Madhya Pradesh have received incessant rain since last few days and lives have been completely disrupted. The Met Office has warned of extremely heavy rainfall till Monday morning. More than 45,000 people have been rescued from 100 to 125 villages in Mansur. Some of these villages have been fully vacated while there has been partial evacuation in others. Besides 32,000 families in the catchment area of Indra Sagar and Sardar Sarovar dams are at risk of being inundated with the water rising alarmingly in the two dams. Civil society organizations have appealed to the government of Madhya Pradesh to help rescue the affected families in the Narmada Valley. Nisarpur near Barwani which was meant to rehabilitate the project affected families is under submergence with the rain fury continuing unabated. Nearly 2300 people were evacuated from the flooded Rampura town in Nimas district after an alarming rise in the backwater level of Gandhi Sagar Dam in Mansur. Rescuers kept a vigil during the night before bringing the flood hit people to relief camps on Sunday. Mansur received 218 mm rain while Manas town in Neemaj got 243 mm rain in 24 hours, ending on Sunday morning as per the India Meteorological Department's IMD office here. The Mansur district received total 1927.8 mm rain from June 1 till date. Against average rainfall of 742.1 mm, the Meteorological Department said. Neemaj got 1569.7 mm rain so far this monsoon, again 706.9 mm average, said the Met Department. After heavy rains, 19 sluice gates of Gandhi Sagar Dam were opened and 4.93 lakh cusic water was being discharged, the dam project's subdivisional officers said. The released water was gushing downstream to flood parts of Rajasthan. There is no let likely from rain fury in the two districts till Monday evening. Extremely heavy rainfall is forecast in parts of Mansur, Neemaj, Agar Malwa and Alirajpur regions till Monday. Heavy rainfall might occur at few places in 10 districts including Indore. Rain or thunder showers are likely to occur at most places in around 31 districts of MP including Bhopal by morning. Intermittent showers on Sunday lashed several parts of Madhya Pradesh, which has so far received 33% more rain than the season's average, the IMD said. The monsoon has weakened a bit in eastern Madhya Pradesh, but is active in western parts of the state, IMD Bhopal office senior meteorologist said. Heavy rainfall is likely in Aliraspur and Jabua districts till Monday morning. Hello friends, my name is Jaydeep Sawalya and I am from Baroda. आज के दिन हम लोग गए थे स्टेचू ऑफ यूनिटी और वहाँ पे हमने सरदार सरोवर डैम की भी विजिट की हुई थी तो हम लोगों ने देखा कि वहाँ काफ़ी मात्रा में पानी आ रहा था और उससे पीछे का कारण था कि मध्य प्रदेश में हो रही ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बारिश और बाढ़ जैसा मौसम और नर्मदा डैम में से पानी छोड़ा गया था उसकी वजह से गुजरात में भी बारिश का बाढ़ जैसा मौसम हो गया है और इस सब के पीछे जो कारण है वो है क्लाइमेट चेंज जिसे हम बोलते हैं ग्लोबल वार्मिंग मगर वो ऐसा कुछ नहीं है वो सिर्फ क्लाइमेट कूलिंग की वजह से हो रहा है जो सब जगह बारिश हो रही है और ज़्यादा बारिश गिर रही है उसी वजह से सब डैम ओवरफ्लो हो रहे हैं और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा पानी आ रहा है टोरेंशियल वाटर्स फ्लड को चैंग टूरिस्ट आइलैंड ऑफ ईस्टर्न थाईलैंड Torrential waters have severely flooded Koh Chang tourist island of eastern Thailand on Sunday, a government official said. After hours of heavy downpours, Koh Chang has been quickly inundated with torrential waters while high tides in the Gulf of Thailand have forced ferry boats to stop service between Trat province shores and the tourist island according to officials. Roads and bridges on the island have 
severely damaged and partly cut off by the torrential waters, forcing local villagers and tourists to get evacuated to higher ground since Sunday morning. Tourists on the island will be quickly returned to shore after the situation subsides. The National Disaster Warning Center has warned villagers and fishermen in coastal areas of the Gulf of Thailand and Andaman Sea to watch out for heavy downpours and flash floods. Small sized boats were strongly advised to stay ashore due to high tides in the stormy sea. According to the Metrological Department, 38 provinces in all regions of the country and Bangkok were forecast to be hit by Sunday's heavy downpours, quickly causing torrential waters, flash floods and flooding in low-lying areas. Ferry services to and from the flood-hit Thai island of Koh Chang have resumed as water levels subside and local teams begin patching up damage caused to roads, homes and bridges. Two days of heavy rains caused chaos on the popular tourist destination located in the Gulf of Thailand with flooding on Sunday, submerging low-lying roads and homes and forcing some residents to flee to shelters. Rough seas and strong currents led to the suspension of ferry crossings. Torrential rain brought by the southwest monsoon has caused severe flooding in more than 32 provinces in Thailand and killed 33 people since the end of August, according to authorities. The worst floods are in Obon, Rajshitani province in northeast Thailand. Thai officials said more than 20,000 people have been evacuated and some communities still have no access to electricity and clean water. The minister attached to the prime minister's office visited people in flood-affected areas of Ubon, Rajshitani province over the weekend as villagers remained evacuated from their homes and major highways throughout five provinces in the area remained inundated by flood waters. The water level of the Moon River has now dropped by one centimeter, but it will take some time for the flood water to be completely drained away as the water level is almost four meters higher than the river banks, reported state news agency NNT. Local officials reported runoff and overflowing canals on the island following more than two days of torrential rain. Several roads, bridges and properties near waterways were damaged, reported the Bangkok Post. The management of Mu Ko Chang National Park closed Klong Plu and Tan Myom waterfalls, which were flowing heavily. It also suspended coral tours on Khor Chang Island due to rough seas. UK gripped by Arctic temperatures as thermometers plummet to above freezing. BBC weather forecasted a temperature drop across the UK to kick off after a weekend of glorious sunshine due to a cold weather front passing over the country. BBC weather warned Britons will face colder temperatures after temperature hit a 27 degree Celsius high on Sunday due to a cold front bringing in Arctic chills across the UK. BBC weather meteorologist Matt Taylor said thermometers in Scotland hit temperatures 1 or 2 degrees above freezing on Monday as he forecasted a significant drop into cold weather throughout the country. In the southern areas, got temperatures in the mid-teens but much fresher further north. We got temperatures only a degree or two above freezing across parts of Scotland at the moment, a cold front at the moment. There is a weather front of cloud outbreaks of rain sitting across parts of Wales, the Midlands and East Angelia at the moment. Here's where there are the dampest conditions. Sunny conditions will gradually make their way down the south. Temperatures up to around 20 degrees Celsius, most places though in the teens through today. For somebody that will be a bit of a drop on what we saw yesterday, 27 degrees Celsius the high in the southwest England. BBC weather forecaster echoed the warning about temperatures. On Monday, there would be the high pressure building in. The high will start to kill off the weather front. The change in temperature follows a trend sweeping through Europe, where a sub-zero polar blast will be hitting Central and Eastern Europe over the coming days. Eastern Europe will see a deep cold snap descend from Siberia on Tuesday night, bringing polar air into continental Europe. Temperatures at the surface are expected to fall by up to 10 degrees Celsius or more in some places. This will last until next weekend when warmer air from Western Europe sweeps across the rest of the continent. The rain will start to pull north and westwards and will weaken with the storms likely to hit Madrid and other central areas before disappearing. The forecasts show freezing sub-zero temperatures will reach into Central Europe. 
temperatures at the surface is expected to fall by up to 10 degrees Celsius or more in some places. This will last until the weekend when warmer air from Western Europe sweeps across the rest of the continent. Alina Jenkins, the BBC meteorologist, said European weather will be quite unsettled this week. A sudden cold snap brought freak storms and extreme weather warnings to Spain this week. Third round of flooding in 2019, likely along Missouri River. The amount of water flowing down the lower Missouri River this year is approaching the record set during the historic 2011 flood. And another round of flooding is expected this week after unusually heavy rains upstream, federal officials said. Heavy rains dumped more than four times what is normal in parts of Montana, North and South Dakota and Nebraska last week, triggering flood warnings and forcing the forecast for how much water will flow down the Missouri River to jump by 4 million acre feet to 58.8 million acre feet. That will be the second only to 2011's 61 million acre feet and it means the river has stayed high all year long. Previously, the second highest runoff year was 1997, when 49 million acre feet of water flowed down the river and caused major flooding. This week's third round of flooding along the Missouri River will likely be less severe than the first two, but still significant, said National Weather Service hydrologist. At Omaha, this week's crest is projected to be 30.5 feet. In March, the river hit 34 feet and it registered 32 feet in the June flooding. Residents of Dakota Dunes, South Dakota, have been encouraged to evacuate their homes as a precaution because the river is already threatening that city. The river will peak there on Tuesday. The downstream residents of Hamburg, Iowa, will be keeping a close eye on the repaired leaves around their town that was inundated in the spring to be sure the patches will hold up. Completely repairing the levees damage in the spring is likely to take several years and cost more than $1 billion. In March, massive flooding caused more than $3 billion in damage in Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas and Missouri. In June, flooding returned and inundated many of the same places because most damaged levees remained broken. The river will remain high throughout the fall because the Corps of Engineers plan to continue releasing large amounts of water into the river to clear up space or in the reservoirs ahead of winter. The amount of water flowing into the lower Missouri was temporarily cut to 60,000 cubic feet per second this weekend, but it will increase to 80,000 cubic feet per second later this week. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Chani Nebnani. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.